so reduced echelon form of a matrix and the rank of a matrix so let's discuss what the reduced echelon form of a matrix is first so basically what we have here if we have a matrix a it must fulfill two conditions for it to be in reduced echelon form one that it must be in its row echelon form for one thing and we've discussed how uh, what the echelon form of matrix is earlier and the second condition is that the first non-zero entry in ri lies in cj then or and all the other entries of cj are zero so what this confusing bit of words here means in simple terms is that the first uh, non-zero entry so basically the leading entry of uh, a row must also be the only non-zero entry in its respective column that's it so let's me explain this with an example look at this matrix here how will we know if it is in reduced echelon form so first we must confirm if it is in its row echelon form so there are three conditions it must fulfill number one that the number of leading zero entries must be increasing as the number of rows increases and that is indeed the case here one zero in the first row two zeros in the second row and four zeros in the third row the second condition is that the leading entries uh, of the non-zero rows must be one and that is indeed the case here this is one and this is one the last condition is that the zero zero row so the row with all zeros must be at the end and that is indeed the case here as well so this is in row echelon form for one thing and the second condition is that the the confusing bit here so this one here is the leading entry in row number one and it is the only non-zero entry in its respective column the second one the one here is the leading entry in the second row and it is the only non-zero entry in its respective column so this is indeed in reduced row echelon form i re-emphasize it is in reduced echelon form so let's discuss the rank of a matrix so this is a very simple concept to see the rank of a matrix you must first reduce it to its reduced echelon form and then you just count the number of non-zero rows the number of wrong non-zero rows which is r is the row rank of the matrix that's it